Hey everyone, it's Ace coming at you live again. Sorry about that. I'm having a little technical problem with my uh, webcam, but I did order a new one, so it's on the way. This one is malfunctioning. Okay, so we were talking about, is your partner selfish? Is your lover selfish? Is your husband selfish? Are you living with a selfish wife? You know what the sad part about that? And leave your comments below, please. And please, please, like, share, and comment on my videos. Um, living with a selfish person is not, not happy. If you're living with a selfish person and they disregard your feelings, they don't even, they don't even care that you have feelings. That's the problem. If they're always gunning you down, 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 down to the ground and laughing in your face. <laughs> Ghosting you in your own house. You know what? This is part two of what I was just talking about. You know, when you love somebody and they don't even realize it or care, if that's the case, that's very selfish. Listen, you only have yourself in reality in this world. Yourself, it's sad, but true. If we don't have ourselves, we have nobody. And if we don't have ourselves, who do we have? You know, it's funny because we go through our life and our parents get old and die. And you know what? Those were the people that we, we should have loved the most. Not chasing somebody that doesn't care and our time is just soaked up by that person because we're infatuated, infatuated with lust and love i know when i fall in love i fall hard some people just pretend they fall in love then they hurt the other person that's selfish what's the definition of being selfish being consumed by your own feelings and not the feelings of others not the feelings of others you know the feelings of others are important because guess what? Without people in the world, you're all alone. You know what? God didn't have to send his son to die in a world of self-consumed people, selfish people who didn't care about him. Look what happened to Jesus. A humble person who healed people, who loved people, who taught people to love God because he knew the, the trouble the world was in and heading for. Look what's happening now in the world. Wars in the Middle East, the US attacking, the Houthis, the Texas border wall crisis. This is all stuff that's happening now, people, because people get so consumed with themselves that they just, they're gonna implode. Meaning, the human body and human mind aren't supposed to be walking around like a human egotistic bomb, ready to explode. I see it every day on people's faces. Misery. People are miserable. More than 50% of the people I think in the world are miserable. So they want everybody else to be miserable. But you know what? You don't have to be miserable. You really don't. It, these people that walk around with hatred in their, with those frown marks on their, on their mouths from this, doing this all day, all angry. <clears throat> they don't notice anything around them but themselves. How do you walk around in a world? How do you walk around in a human body and only, only care about yourself? You know, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. You're supposed to go home and give your, 
partner a big hug or try say I love you you know what we're not gonna be our lives are so short they're so short that you know one day how fast does a day go by do you see how fast the day goes by now I can't believe how fast the day goes and what did we do did we waste the day on our cell phones did we waste the day cheating on somebody did we waste the day lying to somebody did we waste the day not feeling anything but ourselves how great we are you know what people we have a chance here to make a difference in this world and that's what I'm trying to do here when I go live make a difference in the world if somebody's making you sad and hurting your feelings making you cry cheating lying and stealing and you can see it in their eyes you have a choice it's hard I know it's hard to think that you actually do have that choice that you can leave it's hard to pick up the broken pieces of your heart when somebody hurts your feelings I don't mean a breakup I mean being broken literally every day by an animostic animosic egotistic maniac that talks down to you and rolls you over like a hot coal like throwing you on the grill and burning you to death it burns your soul it burns your feelings it burns your heart burns your mind worse than the sun in the philippines worse than the sun in the summer of the in the philippines you know what i'll tell you what if it wasn't for my beautiful son i think i would i would be a very sad person if it wasn't for my beautiful son who makes me laugh he makes me smile he makes me feel real he makes me feel like a real fucking person inside like no one else and that's why it's it's so important as a fucking family to talk get along and respect each other's feelings if you're not doing that you're not doing your fucking job it's true it's true there's so many people especially you know i i um i've heard so many stories because i've been in business all my life and um people who were cheated on hurt every day and um i mean it's hard it's hard to say it's easy to say as a psychologist psychotherapist psychiatrist whatever you want to call those people who help you during bad times it's easy for them to say maybe they have to say you need to go on medicine because you're depressed or maybe they want half the maybe they say maybe it's time to make a change in your life because every day you're going to the same home back home and the person that you ex you 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 want to walk through the door and you expect that person to have a big bright shiny smile and put their arms around you and it just doesn't happen it doesn't happen. You know why? It doesn't happen because they don't want it to happen. They don't want to give you a big cheer from where you were and now you're here. They don't want to give you a standing ovation about your life. You know, Ego is a bad thing because ego is linked. It's, it's full circle. Jealousy, hatred, animosity, anger, lack of kindness. 
My father used to have a my father used to have a saying when I grew up. It doesn't cost a penny to be nice, and let's re- it doesn't cost a peso to be nice. But you know what? People these days, a lot of people's prime directive is just themselves, selfishness, anger. Again, lack of kindness, lack of empathy, lack of mercy for anybody who's suffering. It's just so sad. I mean, there's women out there or men out there that if their spouse, if their partner died today, they wouldn't even care. They would act like they care. Maybe a little at the funeral, at the service, at the wake. I don't know how you couldn't act like you didn't care, but because me, I guess I was brought up with a a lot of love. My mother used to tell me when I was a kid that you have so much love to give. You're gonna find the right person someday. She used to hold me in her arms when I was crying because I wanted to fall in love when I was at a very young age. I had a crush on the neighbor next door at a very young age, and. I, you know, I didn't have a great time in school, but I got bullied in school, picked on, because I was good looking. I was a, I was a sharp looking kid with a great personality, and I had, a, I had started singing very young. And you know what? My father was a famous jazz piano player, but these kids were brutal. You could see the ones that were growing up that wanted to be dominant. Overbearing. What happened to the bullies in school? Probably half of them are dead right now from drugs and alcohol abuse, or just dead from their own egos. They think life is all about them. It's not. How many people think life is all about them? See them walking every day. Observe people around you. You'll see it. Look in the look around on the streets. Look when you go to the store. Say hi to somebody. How many times do I say hi to somebody, and they don't even say hi back? And you're like, I'll ask again. I'll say, Hi, how are you? I just want to see what happens. These people are like living egotistic robots from the future. They're like human AI machines. They're destroying themselves from it. These people that are selfish. And egotistic are destroying themselves from the inside out. Literally, they're killing themselves. And you know what? It's only getting worse in the world. So try to be the best that you can. Try to be not selfish, and try to be honest to the ones that you're supposed to love. And don't let anybody, anybody infiltrate your family and try to get with your wife or husband. And don't get jealous when your wife or husband asks questions. And angry because that just shows a self self、uh, guilt, the guilt displacement syndrome. You never ask this ask the person the same question for four years and you get the same answer. I'm never looking at a, a guy. I'm never doing this. I'm never doing that. Come on, you never did it. Come on. How many women? I, how many women have I looked at in my life? You know what? Don't be selfish. Don't be a liar. And don't be a thief of the heart. Care about other people's hearts, and that's when your heart becomes better. I'm Ace from the Razy Show, and I hope again to talk to you people tomorrow. I enjoy every show. Peace out.